Once we have completed all of the stitching for the pineapple tote, we need to go ahead and remove the excess stabilizer. So we're gonna trim nice and tight to that outside echo line. Once you have the stabilizer all trimmed away, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and press that tote out really nicely because you're gonna to need to match up the top and you wanna make sure that when you sew it together, you don't have any wrinkles distorting the shape of the bag. So you're gonna match up those top pieces and you can go ahead and pin or wonder clip whichever one it is that you prefer. In the instructions, it says to go ahead and line that up all the way to the top to the bottom. I have go ahead and added in a little bit of a pleat in the bottom, so I boxed it just a little bit. You don't have a lot of room here, so you wanna make sure that you give um, only a small box if you're going to do that. So I've only done just a little bit here because you can see that the design pretty much fills up the space that we have left. So make sure that you don't overdo if you would like to go ahead and try to box that bottom. So what I have here is I have folded up the bottom and I have it equally done on both sides, top and bottom. I have about an inch overlap and then I have pinned, in this case using my wonder clip, that in place. You do need to make sure that you have a equal amount on both sides. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fold that so you guys can see that fold is equal on both sides of my bag so that it will balance when I come out and actually open that up. So that is a nice, simple way. Then you're not doing um, any side stitches or anything like, like that. It's really simple. All we need to do is literally sew top and bottom just like the directions say once we have done that. So I did press that in place so it will stay nice and smooth for me. Once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and go back and refer to the instructions in our kit. So once we have that, we're going to go back and choose the utility stitches and go ahead and select stitch 1-03, which is again a center needle position straight stitch. If you have a projector, let's go ahead and use that. So go ahead and tap that cone that is um, pointing downward up at the top left corner of the screen if you have that key. If you do not, you can go ahead and just use the keys on the bottom of your screen. What we want to do is let's go ahead and adjust our positions on screen. I'm gonna move that a little bit so you guys can see. Hopefully, I'm just gonna adjust the camera a little bit. Hopefully you can see, I know that that rainbow is really cool. I'm sure hopefully it's not giving anybody a headache. So what we want to do is, <coughs> I'm so sorry, excuse me. We're gonna adjust the needle to 4.00. We're going to go ahead and touch these guys right here to move our left right shift. So we're going to tap that right here to the right to move your left right position to 4.0. So you're going to tap that twice. Okay, so once we have that in position, we're going to go ahead and change the stitch length to 2.0. So here is your stitch length and we're going to go down from 2.5 to 2.0, which is just one click down. Again, if you don't have a projector, please make those adjustments right on your screen. Um, if you are not already threaded with white thread, please go ahead and do so at this time. We're gonna sew both sides up and we're going to use that half inch guide. The laser line will be projected in blue if we have that. Um, so here that is, and we can use that as our guide. I'll be right back and we can show you how to sew that together. All right, so I have my J foot on. I am not using my walking foot as is depicted in your instructions. So I have moved over my laser line on the projector. I guess it's my projected line, not my laser line. So I have a measurement tool here just so that you guys can see that. Um, I am using my needle position all the way to the left. So I have that at zero. So I have a left needle position at 0, 0.0 and I have my fabric riding along the right edge of my foot over here. And that is giving me that um, half inch seam allowance just so that you guys know that is where I am sewing so if you are wondering why mine doesn't look like the pictures that is what I have so again I have a half inch I am at needle position 0, 0.0 and I am riding my fabric along the right edge 
of my J foot. So those are the adjustments that I have made because I am not using the Move It foot. I am simply going to sew a straight stitch all the way down from the top all the way to the bottom of my tote. All right, we're going to repeat that on the other side. So here we go with the second side. Here is our finished pineapple tote. We have our adorable little handles, our finished seams on the inside. And then because I did box those corners, we have a cute little triangle there on both sides. So a nice finished bag and our adorable design on the front. I hope you enjoyed making the tote with me.